In this problem, we want to factor it completely. So we make sure that we look for the greatest common factor, and if there is one, we divide it out. If not, we count the number of terms. If there's two terms, as there is in this case, we'll see, then it must be either the difference of squares or the sum or difference of cubes. And the way we check that is a difference means subtraction, or a sum means addition, and we look to see if each of the two terms are perfect squares or perfect cubes. So for this problem, since it's x squared plus 4, we can see that it's addition, so it cannot be the difference of squares, because difference means subtraction. So the only possibility, since there's only two terms, and there's no greatest common factor, the only possibility is the sum of two cubes. But we can see that x squared is not a perfect cube, because it's a second power. So this is not the sum of cubes. So since it's only two terms, and it's not a difference, and these are not perfect cubes, so it's not the sum of two cubes, and there's no greatest common factor, that means that none of our factoring strategies will work. And so in this case, when you cannot factor a polynomial, that means your polynomial is prime.